Greetings, Internet. My name is Chris. I'm back in Medieval Engineers. And as promised, I'm going to show you how to build a trebuchet. It is a light trebuchet that is movable purely by using your character. It will have quite a distance. It can hit that wall, which is about 70 blocks away. I think 70 blocks is what? It's like 150 meters or something. Not really sure how it translate here. translates here. Alright, so last time I showed you this, uh, I had this design and I said that it was quite cumbersome because you actually had to like either stand like that or go up here to operate these. And then I made this design here instead. Um, we might change a little bit in the tutorial here because this bit is a little bit too close to the middle and right in between those is where we want to have our ammunition. But let's go ahead and try this out before I show you how to build it. Okay, you get it down to a suitable spot. That should be pretty good. It is rocking slightly, which is a little bit uncomfortable I will have to say that I don't know why it's doing that it's not supposed to be rocking uh, that's actually not very good fuck let's let's try it anyway uh, it didn't do this yesterday I would like to point out and this game is also lagging quite a bit it took me about two minutes to even get into the load uh, get through the loading screen okay it goes to shot Oh, it actually hit the top. Actually, let me use... Because, you know, this always goes so well. I'm going to use the spectator camera here. So this is where we hit, right at the top. It was maybe pulled down a little bit too far is what I think. Or maybe it's needing some kind of counterweight in the back. You can see a previous shot from that, that thing hit up here. We also have a few down along the side. We have one here. There, there, and there. So you can see it hits pretty on target. This is the only one that's gone like slightly to this side, but that's uh, seemingly because it's it's like it was like shaking weirdly. All right, so let me show you how to make it. I usually start off with the the middle platform here. Um, to make this, we start off with a piece of timber that is nine. Press J to unlock it, like so. We do two of these to begin with. And then here I have, let's see, my scroll wheel is a little busted. Uh, you want a piece of two temper, like so. That is our front bit. On this we put 10. On the other side as well, like so. In the front, we find the uh, that one, like that. So we have these outcroppings. Um, these are what we're gonna use for uh, these support beams here. And then at the end of these, we have, I think these are five, aren't they? I'm just going to use this for reference. Yeah, five. So you put an extra five piece at the end of all of these. This is uh, just because if this was too short, any kind of, you can see like, there's a lot of momentum when it fires that like makes the front part shake. If we didn't have this front part, it is likely that it would just tip forward. So it is purely a measurement that ensures that you can fire this multiple times without having to we make it after every single shot. Then we're gonna make our support beams here. These will hold up the the entire me mechanism, I suppose you call it. You do it like so. And then at the top, I believe this is the correct height. Yep, it should be. At the top we put these. Uh, I use the ones where one side is just completely flat, it has nothing. 
uh, and then has one on the other side. You can see that three versions, there's also one where it comes out of both sides, and there's one where it is neither. But I use this one. Um, we'll continue with this in a second. We're gonna build the middle part here. Uh, we're gonna use nine pieces, and it's gonna be 32. There we go. Um, it's 32 because of these two in front. Then we're gonna turn this into a 10. And then we do like this down the side. Hopefully I am correct. Yes. 32 is length of 10 of these. I'm gonna add it onto this. So it's basically it's basically 30, I suppose. And then two in front. I just 32 is easy to remember because it's a weird number. Do that. Uh, you can build multiple in a row by holding down control, which is what I just did. Then I put one of these in front. This is gonna have a support beam as well. I put one in the back like so. And we can already put in a few things. We can put in the anchor point. Anchor point, right there. And then we can put in the, the beams we use for moving it. I'm gonna make these six, six long, like so. Let's see, we already move it to the side. It doesn't weigh that much, so it's very easy to move right now. Like so. That's good. This middle part here, we'll fill this in later. Uh, because this is where we're going to have that mechanism. Alright, so. <clears throat> uh, on a separate bar, I have these diagonal timbers. Scroll the wheel once to turn it into the long piece. Now we use that on both these sides. Like so and like so turn it around have one there and then on the other side as well there we go and i think we should build oh, five uh i think we should build this top up here if i'm not mistaken this should be nine it is good extend three out here and three out here then the middle part is going to be three long this is a normal tender, these are the rounded. So make this three, it's very important that it's three, it's just gonna help it not break as easily. Now these two are connected. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna add our, how, how long were these? I don't really remember a thing. Let's see, three, or six long, okay. So we're gonna make two six temper pieces. Oh, whoops. One there, one there. We can just tip this around, like so. And then we're gonna have three ten longs. We're just gonna make one to begin with. We're just gonna add the rest afterwards. At the end of these, right here, we'll use the normal ones without anything sticking out. Use the rounded one in the middle. And on both sides. These are kind of finicky. You have to like aim at a specific point to make them like snap in. Right here we're gonna use let me see if I can even get it to to work right. We're gonna use two. It's gonna be too long. Two as in the number. Flip this around. Ah. See this is what I hate. The this flipping system is very unintuitive. There we go. Like it doesn't really make sense. Then we're gonna have something extending here. I seem to remember that these were eight, weren't they? Uh, yep. So we're just gonna get a timber with eight. Flip it around like so, like so. And then we're gonna make these be five. Actually, first off, we're gonna we're gonna do something so it's a little bit easier. We're taking this diagonal temper, scroll the wheel once, flip it around like so, and then we're gonna have these on both sides. This makes it a little bit easier, otherwise I just have to keep looking at the other version over there, which would be kind of annoying. Okay, we make these five long, extend them down like so, and like so. Do that on the other side as well. Okay, then the bottom. There's gonna be a little space in the middle. 
Uh, we're going to fill this in by just simply flipping it around. And we're going to extend these up along the side. Like that. And like this. Turn it around, turn it into a nine piece. Fill them in. You're basically going to fill in until you reach like so. So here we have a full layer where we can put in all the weights. Um, you may call me a little bit uh, superstitious or whatever, but I don't really fill this in until I'm completely done because filling that in can sometimes cause problems as the, the weights are just a little bit unpredictable. Then we do this. It is three times 10. And then at the end, we put a one of these rope release things, like so. You basically just get these by scrolling the wheel, like the other things. Uh, we scroll the wheel once to get this rope ending, and we just attach these to all the sides. The one in the middle is the one we're going to attach to our anchor point down there. The one the ones on the side are going to be for the ones where we actually pull it down. Okay, so let me just check here how I did. I extended out once from here. That's good. And I seem to remember these being eight long. Okay, I'm gonna make it nine because we're gonna change it a little bit. We're gonna do like that and like so. Yep. I kind of wish this game had a mirror mode. That would help a lot when you were building stuff. Gonna do the same on the other side. Just gonna fill these in here. I'm gonna fill up the sides like that. Then we're gonna flip it around, turn it into a two piece. Oh, lift it up like that. Yep. Um, then we're gonna get this lock, catch block, and we're gonna scroll the wheel once until we get this one go on the other side do the same thing then we're gonna go to our rope drum scroll the wheel once to get the one with the lockable rope drum because this one is just far more efficient for when we're gonna make this stuff actually let's let's remove this once and just build in the last thing we need here it's right here we're gonna do the same thing with these timbers, they're just going to be too long. We're going to use one of these things. Scroll the wheel twice. Or however many times you need to, to get this one where it comes out on both ends. Go back to the rope drum. It should pit, it pit, it should fit in perfectly. Like so. Uh, don't do anything to these yet. Because the next thing here is... Like, we need them to be at the same point, otherwise it can cause... Uh, cause it to be a little bit unstable. So right now I can't look beneath it to place this one, so what I usually do is just hold control and then drag it down so it comes out on the bottom as well. I'll do like that. Perfect. On the ends here, I'm gonna put... Uh, oh, see, now it does this. That's kind of annoying. I guess. Um, okay, we're just gonna put these in the ends, like so. Hopefully I can get this one to turn around as well. Oh, son of a... It doesn't want to... Sometimes it doesn't want to let you turn them. Uh, like, turn these pieces, rotate them. And I just kind of like them to be like that. Okay, you can see it's actually perfect now. I just hit it, of course, though. Because I'm, I'm an idiot. There we go. That should be fine, I think. You can always go to the end here to tell if they're not. Uh, they're a little bit off. Uh, let's put a wheel here. Um, you can just adjust it. There we go. That should be fine. Um, if you can't reach this bottom one, you can always turn them around, but... Uh, I would just go down like this until you see the yellow box. There we go. This game is a little bit finicky at times. And then we put one over here. And that's pretty much it. 
Now all we need to do is just fill in this stuff here because it doesn't look very pretty if it's not filled in. Like so. Put a single one piece here. Okay. And now for the last part, we're gonna fill this up with weights. I'm just gonna save just in case. I recommend you do the same. You can see the whole thing shifts when you do it. Okay, I'm gonna let these be loose until I'm actually gonna use them to wind it down. So I'm gonna attach these up here. And then I hope I did something correctly because sometimes the wheels here, uh, like which way they need to turn in order to pull it down is sometimes a little bit random. Like it's not always intuitive, which is a little bit strange. Lock those in, Let's save it again, just for good measure. Okay, it works, that's good. Stand it up. That's f oh, now this one is shaking as well. That is very disturbing. I have no idea why it's shaking. It's not supposed to do that. See, this other one here wasn't shaking yesterday. That's a weird part. Why is it doing that? That is just very, very strange. Did they update the game or something? Because this just did not happen yesterday. God damn it. Okay, so what we'll actually do here is we'll winch it back. There's obviously too much weight for it. It's not supposed to shake like that. We're gonna release these two. And we're just gonna take away a little bit of the weight. Can move a layer here. And there. And here. You can adjust this however much you want. Um, and if necessary, uh, put more in or pu pull more out of the weights in order to, to get it to work, right? But you can see here, this middle thing, <coughs> oops, sorry, this middle thing here, it doesn't look like it would work as well as the other ones, but it actually does, which is very nice. You can see I turn one and both of them turn. Don't shake. It doesn't shake, that's good. Now it shakes. That's not good. God damn it. This is very annoying because I, I tested this machine yesterday when I made the alter, altercations to it. Or the changes to it, I just would say. Um, and it wasn't having any difficulties. You can see it actually stopped shaking now. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure what makes it do that. Um, and it definitely didn't do it yesterday. Okay, let's fire it. F8. You see it goes a little bit too uh, short for our liking. So we're actually gonna do that again. We're gonna put some more weight in. This is the annoying part, because the other version has no problems with it. But this one apparently has a lot of problems associated with putting more weight in. It's very strange. We'll leave the middle part as it is. That looked kind of weird. Oh, I was filling that in. Okay, let's save it again. I, I save a lot in games and and everything like it's usually especially in this case here because I it just annoys me uh, when I lose something so I would rather uh, have it be saved That's, so I think what we need to do here is basically just attach it and it will stop shaking maybe no no for fuck's sake come on of course it's completely impossible to target it when it's doing that shit what is this? I'm sorry, this is just really annoying. It's definitely not supposed to do this. Oh, Christ. I think what it is, uh, the weight in this basket here, uh, like there's probably too much weight on the front compared to how much weight there is in the back. Um, we can try and remedy this. Hopefully it doesn't break anything. Just gonna add a few weights to the back here. Yep, problem solved. 
I knew it had to be something with the weight. And see, of course, it's a little bit harder to turn it now. Okay, so basically, it just had too much weight in the front. I think the reason for it is probably because of these things here. Because obviously, this one isn't as heavy in the front as the other ones. Okay, so we found the way to fix that. That's good. I'm, I'm glad I discovered that. It's all about weight. Because the funny thing is, like, this machine here yesterday when I made it had no problems. It was perfect. It was awesome. So it's just really strange that they would do this. Okay, let's fire this one. F... Oh, not F6. F8. God damn it. I hate this stupid camera. Uh, okay, that's where it hit. <laughs> God damn it. I hit F7 instead of F8. And then it, it does, like, this weird thing on, on F7 where it's like a weird third person camera. I'm gonna see if I can completely remove that button. Spectator. Spectator please. Uh, F7. Um, I don't fucking know what to put it at. F3 or something? Yeah, that'd be fine. Thank you very much. Okay. If this shakes again, we're just going to add a few more weights to the back. I'm actually going to go over and add uh, some weights here as well. There we go. Uh, but I'm very glad that I, I f found out for myself finally how to make a like a proper sized trebuchet. Like a lot of the ones I see on the the workshop are like humongous and I'm like I I don't know like I, I don't want to build one of those because they're so impractical like are impractical like imagine if you want to build a reliable siege engine for uh for like survivable for like uh, survival mode I mean survivable Christ um but yeah if you want to build a reliable siege engine for uh survival mode you don't want to have to build something that's like the size of a castle just to be able to fire something pretty far, which is, yeah. But I'm very happy with this uh, thing here, because I think this one fires a lot further than uh, than my crossbow catapults or anything else I've made. So, okay, and F8. I hit F7 again, actually. Oh, what? Oh, that's funny, it actually... <laughs> It, it, it fired too far. That's really funny. Actually fired over the wall. It's also a very stupid wall to siege because it's open in the front, so we, you could just wall right through. But god damn it, we're gonna sink this wall. Also, I like it for target practice. It's kind of it's kind of neat. I should have made it a little bit taller though. This is the only annoyance I have with it. Because this thing is right in your face when you're uh, when you're attaching the the anchor point, it, it tends to like sometimes you tend to accidentally attach that to something you don't want to attach it to. Let's do this again. Okay, and fire F8. Oh, nice. I do wish they hadn't changed the uh, impact model or whatever, like the destruction physics in this game, because I kind of liked when when you could just hit a block once and it would crumble. I thought it was kind of neat. This one here, I would have to hit the same spot a few times in order for for me to break it, or it would have to be like one of these thin parts up here. So th that kind of sucks. Anyway. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Hopefully you can build a trebuchet of your own. Maybe you use my design. Maybe you advance it a bit further. If you do, leave me a comment. Let me know if you put a video anywhere of a trebuchet or whatever. I'd like to see it. Thanks for watching. See you later.